Parliament, eh, where we are on the second uh, interval uh, of uh, these proceedings uh, of today. The reason for that uh, interval uh, is to allow uh, the returning officers of Parliament uh, to actually start uh, counting the votes uh, for the Speaker's uh, 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 vote. Uh, of course, uh, the ANC earlier putting up uh, the name uh, of Tandi Modise. Uh, and the DA, on the other hand, has put up uh, the name of uh, Mr. Richard Majola. Of course, uh, MPs had to actually undertake the voting process a short while ago, uh, and that voting process has been done in secret uh, in the floor of the National Assembly. Of course, now uh, we wait uh, for those results, uh, and uh, once those results are ready uh, to be read out by the Chief Justice, uh, uh, the bells of Parliament will be rung for five minutes uh, for all those MPs who have actually left the National Assembly uh, to return to the House in order to get uh, the official results uh, from the Chief Justice. As I look at the visuals coming out of the House, of course, uh, quite a lot of uh, people on the ruling parties, uh, benches uh, who are singing there, of course, uh, passing time uh, as they await uh, those results. Uh, for those viewers uh, who've just joined us uh, this afternoon, uh, of course, uh, earlier in the morning, the process began by that uh, swearing-in uh, ceremony of all the members of the National Assembly, all the political parties lining up, uh, taking the oath. Uh, of course, the first person uh, together with nine other ANC MPs was uh, President-elect uh, Cyril Ramaphosa. And uh, on the DA side, uh, the leader of the DA, uh, Mr. Musi Maimane, leading uh, from the front. And of course, uh, the leader of the EFF, uh, Mr. Julius Malima, also leading uh, his delegation. Of course, uh, that process uh, was finished at around uh, 12.30 this afternoon. But because uh, there is a contestation uh, when it came to the election of presiding officers, uh, the House had to adjourn for about uh, two hours in order for the returning uh, officers of Parliament uh, to start uh, preparing for the voting process, uh, preparing uh, the ballot papers. Uh, and of course, uh, shortly after lunch, uh, that uh, voting process actually ensued. Uh, everyone uh, going uh, to the ballot uh, booths, uh, casting their votes, and uh, of course, uh, putting them in those uh, voting ballot boxes. And as I've said, uh, now we are at that, pro at that point uh, where uh, they are starting uh, to count. Uh, of course, uh, if uh, the numbers uh, of the ruling party stay as they are, we do expect uh, that uh, Mayor Tandi Modise uh, will emerge uh, as the victorious person uh, to occupy uh, the speaker's uh, position. Of course, uh, after that, uh, we do expect that uh, the election is going to move on to uh, the next uh, position, which is that uh, of uh, Deputy Speaker. Of course, uh, the ANC announcing earlier this week that uh, they will be putting up the name uh, of uh, Mr. Lechisa Tsinodi, who has been the Deputy Speaker uh, in the previous parliament. And of course, uh, once that process has been completed, uh, if the TK, of course, does not uh, put up a name, uh, then uh, that process is going to be completed fast. But if they do put up a name like that uh, in, of the speaker's position, of course, we will be in for another long haul as, uh, again, uh, the voting process is going to take uh, a bit of time. But, of course, the big one later on this afternoon is the election of uh, the president. Of course, uh, again, political parties have the democratic right uh, of putting up a candidate. But as I've said, uh, if numbers are anything to go by, the ANC is set to be able to actually push through its candidate, uh, President uh, Cyril Ramaphosa. And uh, of course, uh, there's BSE, the, 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 the process has not gone without a hitch. I just noted, you know, one of the MPs uh, who was uh, being sworn in uh, actually forgot uh, uh, his paper that would uh, be used uh, to read his oath of office. Of course, I suppose uh, he's been nervous, uh, but of course other parties uh, like the EFF have actually used the moment uh, to actually, you know, stamp uh, uh, or give uh, their presence in the House uh, as their names were called out. Uh, uh, some of them were actually going... Uh, to the places where they're going to read the oath. Uh, you know, dancing, uh, you know, there's this uh, dance called Ivosho, uh, leading from the front, of course, was their leader, uh, Mr. Julius Malema. But of course, uh, we do wait uh, for those results, Peter, and uh, I'm sure any time from now, uh, as I look at the visuals coming out of the house, it seems that uh, everyone uh, is settling down, uh, but of course, uh, we will be keeping an eye uh, when uh, the Chief Justice Mkhwenga uh, returns uh, to give us an update as to how the voting went. Uh, on that note, uh, Peter, we'll take it back to you in Johannesburg. 
Bulelani, thanks very much indeed. Uh, we'll continue to get updates from Bulelani, who's uh, outside Parliament uh, watching proceedings as uh, the voting continues and the appointment of uh, some of the senior figures in the next Parliament. All right, so there's no question, Tandi Mudis.